Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Rugby Wrap. I'm Matt McCarthy in Midtown Manhattan for a very special uh, edition of Rugby Wrap. Up, This one is about the National Club Sevens. And who better to talk about this than three Eagles? Uh, we have Mr. Tony Ridnell, who is charged with getting this tournament off the ground in Seattle. We have Abby Gustitis, who is just back from the Olympics. And we have Shalom Suniula in his car. So we'll have just an, uh, a picture of him. Welcome, everybody. Tony, before we, we get to the, uh, to the other folks, just walk us through briefly what's going on in Seattle this weekend. Will do, Matt. Thank you. Uh, it's great to be back uh, on your show after uh, a long hiatus from the COVID. Uh, this weekend, we're hosting the USA Rugby National Club Sevens Championships and, uh, and also a, 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 another tournament as well, but a little more social. So we've got 14 teams, uh, four, excuse me, 16 men's teams coming. We've got 13 women's teams coming to compete for the Cygnus Cup, which is named after Amel Cygnus legendary coach uh, who I was very fortunate to play under. Um, so we've got uh, uh, 29 teams playing for the Cygnus Cup, men and women, and then we've got 14 teams coming in what's called the Silver Cup. So we've got a total of 43 teams. Uh, we've got some two, uh, at least one 2016 gold medalist uh, playing. I believe uh, he's playing for Belmont Shore. And then, of course, we've got some Olympians coming up. Abby, you see here uh, in, the, uh, in the commentary box, Alex Corbacero is going to join us, yourself, Colin Hawley. So we've got a great commentating team. The production on the Rugby Network will be shown all over the globe, uh, and it should be a, just a fantastic event. All the matches will be streamed on all three pitches, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, wow. We've got, obviously, the main, the main, main, uh, main, uh, main field uh, gets most of the play. But we've got uh, the Cygnus Cup being played on two two fields, and then the Silver Cup on field three will also be will also have coverage. So uh, anyone who's paid to play in this tournament is going to be able to call mom and uh, and say, "Watch me play." Well, fortunately for the fans listening, we have the likes of Abby and Shalom that will be also pinch hitting or taking duty as commentators, so they don't have to listen to me the entire time. Abby, welcome back from Tokyo, the Olympics. For, for schmoes like me, what was that like? It was definitely an incredible experience. It's, I feel like I I just rolled off the plane still. So still adjusting back to San Diego life, but it was an absolute honor. I loved every second of it, minus losing. And I really do feel like the support from back home was unmatched. And I really hope that more people got to watch rugby and are now fans of it and hopefully tuning in this weekend. This was a special thrill for you going to Tokyo. Right. First Olympics and a little different, as they say, of course, with Fish. COVID. <laughs> but um, amazing nonetheless. And I wouldn't trade it. It was a long journey, a long build up, And, you know, I... At no time did I doubt my team or did I lack belief. And on any other given day, the result could have been different. And that's sevens. It's a brutal game, but we play it. And now you're getting on another plane and flying to Seattle to take to wear a different hat. But that's the plan. Friday, coming quick. Uh, nothing like a quick turnaround, but <laughs> sorry in advance if my commentary is not up to par. I will try my best to hang in there, but I'm really excited. I have played in club sevens in 2014 and then again in 2016 and both great memories. And that was my first sevens experience seven years ago now. Wow. And, you know, here we are, came back from Tokyo. So maybe a better athlete could do it in less than seven years. So I think <laughs> huge opportunity here for the ladies and gentlemen participating this weekend. Excellent. And Shalom, we don't, we don't want to forget you over there. We know that you're on your way to work. But you are you are an eagle in sevens and fifteens, and you've been starring with the Seattle Seawolves with Tony as your number one fan, and now you're allegedly retiring. Is this gonna? Is this actually a retirement, Shalom? <laughs> True story, Matt. True story. I'm I'm really skeptical. I know the way things operate up there with the Seawolves. You know, if you're <laughs> if, if you're carrying a clipboard, you are also wearing cleats, but. <laughs> If this is indeed the retirement, this will be the first time there's no Suniola brother in American rugby in some capacity on the pitch in about a thousand years. 
Yeah, yeah. So fortunately, we get to watch some uh, some youngsters come through, which is exciting. And so tying that to this weekend, there's going to be a lot of talent on display. And I think it'll just be exciting for everyone to just get back out there, given the last, uh, you know, 15 months, so to speak. So that being said, I'm going to look forward to coaching on the sideline, watching some new talent come through. And you're, what, you're coaching who, WAC, Washington Athletic Club? Yeah, helping out the Washington Athletic Club, which is the local club here, a club that started roughly about four years ago. And so uh, excited to see uh, how they go. Tony, getting back to the tournament. Yes, sir. Uh, I understand the legend Wasseli Sarevi will be there as well. Weiss will be there. Uh, you know, what a, what, a, what a treat for him. His, uh, his daughter, uh, Natai, is playing uh, for Scion. So that'll be uh, – Real special for him. And Weiss has obviously been a huge presence for the last eight years around the Seattle area. Um, and really, you know, could could be credited for uh, for pushing us a little bit over the edge here in terms of, of bringing the sport of sevens uh, uh, to the forefront in Seattle and, and obviously having an, a, a global iconic figure like Waisali Sarevi, you know, around, around the sheds is pretty, pretty phenomenal. So I'd like to thank, you know, you, you spoke of the WAC. The WAC is the presenting sponsor, the Washington Athletic Club. We also have Washington Federal Bank. Uh, also, USI has come through with some significant sponsorship. The city of Tukwila, uh, Southside. How about Balfour? Why don't you get Balfour to dig into his pockets? I'm sure he's got a few hands, uh, hands putting in that pocket from the Seawolf. So, so hopefully we can get by. All right. And we also, Shalom, we also have Matt Turner coming up. Or come, he'll, he's, he's in town, so he's going to come in the booth. And Abby, you have a special friend that's going to be working in the booth as well, right? Friend is pushing it. Don't <laughs> enjoy his company that much, honestly. <laughs> is he going to kick you out of the studio today like, like you kicked us out of the studio yesterday? He might. It, it happens on occasion. But yeah, Alex <laughs> will be... Well, we're on the same flight, at least. I can't be sure if... <laughs> If he'll end up at the seventh, <laughs> not he might end up at Tony's house. It's very <laughs> unclear at this time, but no, we're really excited, and you know, I I'll try to get a few words in. I've got my team team Corb shirt on just in case uh, he's watching <laughs> ahead of me getting out there. Right, always does. Corbs would feature in the tight five sevens for sure. Him and him and Sadnelli, and they got to go the width of the field, not the length. Width of the field. Two minute sevens, Clydesdale sevens. You heard it here on Rugby Wrap Up. Shalom, this is like a pathway, and I'm going to ask Abby the same question. Are, are you are you looking at players that could be on the national team? Yeah, of course. Uh, I think now's the right time, right? Especially with the Olympics, it's a new cycle coming through. I believe there are players uh, exiting the program. So there's and, and look, there's a professional league uh, within sevens that's happening right now or in the brewing, so to speak. And so there's plenty of opportunities, right, uh, for young t- uh, athletes out there. And so you've got pathways like Major League Rugby, uh, your club women, and so for the for the men and women, there's just so much room. Um, for growth now, right? So as we exit, <laughs> there's, there's room for new blood to come through. So I'm excited to see that. And Abby, you're now overnight, Abby, you're a veteran. It seems <laughs> like, you know, it seems like overnight. It's like an eye blink, right? And now you're a veteran of the squad. Are you going to be like wearing a kind of a scouting cap too? I definitely keep my eye out. I don't know if the coaching staff will take me too seriously if I report back, but I'll definitely give it my best and be on the lookout. <laughs> Well, I, they'd be wise to listen to you. And, and before we let you all go, final thoughts, Tony? Well, I'd like to add, add one thing, Matt. Uh, we've, we've got that new uh, seven circuit, USA seven circuit, just just uh, embryo starting. They're going to the premier rugby sevens. They're going to have three scouts out here in Seattle. They're going to be looking for players, looking for talent, looking for people to sign. So that's pretty cool. Uh, just in summary, we're going to have a great event. Uh, hopefully the people in Seattle will rally and come. The weather's going to be phenomenal this weekend. Uh, the, the, the tournament's going to be televised globally through the rugby network. Uh, so there'll be huge exposure and it's just going to be a great tournament. We're looking very, very forward to it. I, I, I've played in it. I've coached it. I've watched it. And now I guess we're putting it on. So uh, we'll come full circle. You had to be the tallest sevens player in the history of man, right? If I, I don't know if I was taller than Viz, but Viz and I were on oh, the Brian. same team often. Brian and I were on the same team often, so uh, we won. We won a few kick. We won a few kickoffs at least, just like Abby. We were the precursor to Abby's Abby's uh, air game. 
learn learned it from you, Tony. How dare you <laughs> insult Abby's game that way, sir? How she dare learned, you, sir? In, she learned it watching the black. She learned. She learned it watching the black and white VHS tapes. That's like telling. <laughs> that's like me telling Shalom I I was a better back. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> well, I certainly was the tallest. Say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to we're going to carry this over into the booth live this weekend on the Rugby yes, Network, sir. which is free, ladies and gentlemen, which is astonishing. So you'll have the ability from your couches to watch all this rugby for free on the rugby network dot com. All thanks to Tony Ridnell and yeah. made special by Abby Gostitis and Shalom Suniola. On behalf of them, I'm Matt McCarthy for Rugby Wrap Up. Thanks for tuning in and check out our other segments. The Rugby Odds, featuring WWE Hall of Famer John Bradshaw Layfield, the world's best sports better ever in the Philly Godfather, and Rugby's Gift, Gift A. Bailu, our Major League Rugby show, Martial Law, The Zack Attack, and please sign up for our Rugby Wrap-Up Red Cross Blood Donor Team. <laughs>